Relationship of Internet Skills and Digital Storytelling Digital storytelling has become a popular instructional method in the classroom, driven by the phenomena of YouTube and the increasing popularity of digital storytelling tools on the Internet. Digital storytelling has been credited with increasing engagement and motivation and stimulating creativity. The narration and stories help students build upon past experience to untangle new information, build knowledge, and solve problems. Storytelling demands active participation, causing students to interpret rather than simply memorize information. As a result, digital storytelling may offer great learning potential. Learning theory supports digital storytelling. Students are able to build and create knowledge rather than be passive receptors, allowing knowledge to be stored better in the brain. Producing digital stories allows students time to reflect. Digital storytelling requires less cognitive effort because information is framed in the familiar, like a story. Research has supported the use of digital storytelling in a wide range of subjects including history, language arts, teacher's education, journalism, mathematics, law, and science. Studies have also shown the ability of students to gain knowledge while participating in the learning process through the use of digital storytelling. Research has identified the process of knowledge construction is impacted by students' personal characteristics. A split in cognitive load occurs for students who have limited experience and or skills using the internet who must also create digital stories or similar content. To create digital stories, students must know how to navigate the internet to download graphics and audio files correctly. Students must also have skills to use sites like YouTube, as well as various digital storytelling applications that further creation and production of stories. Digital storytelling depends on the user's skill set to access the internet and apply digital literacy. Despite the popularity of digital storytelling, research is lacking as to the connection internet skills have on successfully creating digital stories. The task of creating a digital story is twofold. Students must gather content knowledge and utilize technology to create the digital story artifact. This research is based on the concept that students with greater internet skills are likely to perform better creating a digital story. Researchers have reported students becoming frustrated with technology while creating digital stories. This frustration may impact the performance ability of students in creating digital stories. My research question is, is internet skill associated with student performance in creating digital stories in ninth grade history courses at an urban public high school? I have chosen a correlation study to provide a view of the situation. This strategy was chosen to establish the strength of the relationship between internet skill and student performance. The purpose of the study is to see if a relationship is indicated between internet skills and student performance. Furthermore, the data will be used to determine if there is a difference in performance between students with internet skills and those without. This strategy was selected as a way to study a variable and outcome without an intervening experiment. For the independent variable, internet skill, the data will be collected using an established internet skill measurement measure survey created by Hargetai. This is a paper and pencil survey to avoid bias against those who have less technological skills. The survey measures internet know-how by identifying 27 internet-related items and asking respondents to rate their level of familiarity on a 1 to 5 point Likert scale. The 27 items are aggregated into a single web use composite score. While there are many tools that measure internet skills, this particular survey was chosen for several reasons. Hagatai is a respected researcher, the survey has been tested for accuracy multiple times, and the results of the survey correlate with observations of others. Plus, the survey is readily available at no cost and is easy to administer. The dependent variable, student performance, will be measured by utilizing the digital storytelling rubric created by Barrett, which is featured here. While this tool has been evaluated in a very limited manner. It serves to establish clear expectations that will enable multiple graders to assign consistent scores. The tool has been adapted to reduce complexity, but includes a measurement of purpose, quality, soundtrack originality, images, economy, and duration of presentation. 
The student's performance in each of these categories will be rated excellent, good, satisfactory, or needs improvement, and a point value will be applied. The instructors will be able to assign an overall score of each student's performance based on the results of the categories. The sample will be randomly selected from all ninth graders enrolled in history classes at a public urban high school. The sample size will be 30 students chosen from the larger population of all ninth graders. This sample size was chosen based on the idea that a sample size of 30 or more is sufficient to generate results indicative of the larger population. All ninth graders will participate in creating a digital story in history class, but the researcher will randomly select the digital stories and an internet skill surveys of 30 students for the purpose of this study. A single stage sampling procedure will be used. There will be no stratification involved, although this may lead to a less reliable inference for the results to be applied to the total population. Data will be collected from the Internet Skill Survey and Storytelling Rubric. Students will take the Internet Skill Survey prior to beginning their digital storytelling project. After the survey is completed, students will be instructed to create a digital story. Ninth grade history teachers who have been trained to use the digital storytelling rubric will grade the stories. Each story will be reviewed twice with discrepancies and scores discussed. Two sets of data will be collected for each student, the score from the Internet Skills Survey and the student's overall score on the digital storytelling rubric. It will be important to monitor potential threats to the data, which could include instructors reviewing the digital stories in a non-standardized manner and conditions of the testing situation. The Internet Skill Survey and Digital Storytelling Rubric will generate scores in an interval level of measurement, so mean can be calculated. This is also logical, as the shape of the distribution is anticipated to be evenly spread. After that, variance will be calculated to get a more accurate measure of the spread. Standard deviation will be calculated to measure the average deviation from the mean in intervals. The combination of mean and standard deviation will help provide a stable, precise measure of central tendency. The data will be coded and transferred to a computer file. Here is a scatter plot I generated before calculating correlation. This was done to give an indication of whether the variables were related in a linear, straight line fashion. As you can see, the variables are related based on this scatter plot. The data collection methods provide ranked data and a normal distribution is anticipated, so a parametric test is appropriate. This will also give a more powerful result. Based on this, Pearson's R correlation coefficient was selected. This test shows the degree that internet skill is associated with the student's performance, strength, and direction of the correlation. This test seems to be the most appropriate since the Internet Skills Survey and digital storytelling scores provide interval data. The sample has been selected at random from a specified population and both variables are anticipated to be normally distributed. I ran a Pearson's R correlation utilizing SPSS and here's the output showing the strength of correlation which is very strong in this example. In addition, a T ratio will be computed to determine whether the obtained relationship between internet skill and performance in creating digital story exists in the larger population and is not due to a sampling error. To do this, I established a null hypothesis. Internet skill is not associated with students' performance creating digital stories. An alpha level of 0.05 will be selected and used to test the significance. If the difference is large enough, the null hypothesis will be rejected. These tests will supply information regarding the relationship internet skills have on students' ability to perform in creating digital stories. Thank you for listening.